Hello guys, my name is Joselo and today I am going to show you a small video about how you can create uh, components like this one. We have a sidebar, it's a common component that we have in, in our applications. So I am going to show you how you can create this kind of components in Phoenix using Phoenix components and also Elixir, obviously. <laughs> so I am also doing this kind of videos to put in practice my English. So uh, as you can see, we have, um, uh, we have a navigation bar here. And for example, if we go to the dashboard page, uh, we can see the dashboard page here. And also we can have a group of, a group of uh, links inside of inventory in this case. And if we, ha if we go to the products page and uh, we, navigate, we navigate to the products, pro in this case, in, up in the product detail, and we can see the products market and also we can do the same for the rest of the links uh, and also we can for example have another kind of links in this case lookout which is not a live view component or no, it's not a live view page so you can create this kind of uh, components so let me show you how how the code looks like the first the first thing that that we need to create is it's basically uh, the um, it's a it's a hook uh, to keep the to save the current tab that we are navigate navigation that we are navigating. For example, um, let me explain uh, opening the file. Uh, in this case, I am using uh, live sessions. Uh, for example, as you can see here, we have a live session here, and we have uh, this module tab manager so let me open the tab manager and explain a little bit how it works basically we have an, an unmount uh, function here and we attach a hook and in this case and the name of the hook is gonna we, we, we the name is active tab and basically we we detect which um, which tab is 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 currently loaded so for example we have a we have a get active uh, function here and we have these view groups so where where is the view groups in this case so let me open in the right side the tabs config so it's just basically a, a, a configuration here so in other words for example we have a we have an we have a map here and the key is this is the active tab home products stock clients account and in in, in the in for each one we have an, a list with a specific view for for example in the products we have um, the index the index model and also we have the show model right and also we do the same for the rest of the of the views so Basically, I'm using these view groups to, to know um, which live view uh, belongs to the, to the current tab, right? So in, the, in this case, the hook, uh, the hook basically uh, with this function set active tab detect in which view we are currently now. So that's the reason why the active, the active tab has, for example, the value of the active tab is gonna be home, products, stock, things like that, right? Depending of the, depending on in, in which live view page we are. So the other, the other thing that we need is, um, uh, so basically we have this, this couple of models here. So don't worry, I am going to share the, the repository and yeah, so we have this couple of models to manage the, the tab, the current tab. And also something important is that we have a tabs config in this case. So the tabs config has and the, all, of the, the, all of the configurations for the navigation bar. So in this case, for example, we have a, we have a map and we have some properties for the map, label, the icon, and also something very important is the tab name in this case is home so every time that the user goes to the home and we look we're looking for this view group and we know the view that we are rendering 
Um, so we have also the rest of the menus, the rest of the options here. For example, inventory. In this case, inventory is a, is a group. So it has uh, child's uh, tabs here. And we have uh, the options, in this case, navigate uh, to, the, to the specific path products. And something important is that we need to specify the tab name. So in this case, it's inventory because as you can see, we have here uh, the inventory, the, the tab inventory, and in the view groups we have. Uh, uh, we ha we'll, in this case we don't have an inventory because it's a group. So we have products, and uh, we have products here, uh, we have stock, and we have stock here. So um, actually, the, the, this name doesn't matter because it, it it's not included in the view groups. Yeah, so those uh, those this those couple of models does the the job to manage the tabs, and the other component is the is the sidebar component. So it's it's a long component that I create. I am not going to explain all of the code, uh, but it's basically a Phoenix component. So we have this Phoenix component in the root, sorry, in the app layout here and we can use in this way so yeah it's very easy you can specify the active tab and the tabs so and the other thing is um, it's very important that in our roads i think i already explained this part but anyway um, we have the tab manager here and that's the reason why all of the roads are included in inside of the live section so that's how it works I am going to share the repository in, in GitHub, so if you can see more details about the video, you can go to the, to the repository here. And yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope, to, uh, I hope that it can be helpful for you guys. And also, sorry for my bad English. I am doing this video, as I said, just to put in practice my, put in practice my English. And also, the, the mini works is responsive. So basically, let me show how it looks like. Yeah, it's responsive and it looks it looks good. So the, the menu is very common in our applications. So I am going to, um, I am doing this repository. So I, am, I will probably uh, create other, other useful components that, that I need. So the first component is the sidebar. So you can uh, you can download the, the code and, and customize as you need. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Bye.